Today's video will not be educational in any way, video games or otherwise, so if you're looking for something educational, I don't suggest you watch this one. This video is just me playing EVE Online and asking a few questions about what type of videos or if you have any ideas for videos I should make in the future. If you do, just let me know in the comments. Also, if the quality of this video is kind of low, it's because I got a new computer and I was enjoying the new graphics, but the website I'm using to record this is not enjoying them at all. Now, as you can see, I'm training drones to level 5. Now, it's because the two skills I need, drum sharp shooting and one other, uh, the prerequisites is drones to level 5, and so I can't turn on two modules. Anyway, for fitting, I have two heavy modulated pulse energy beams, one medium solace scoped armor repair, one drone link augmenter, a drone navigation computer, and a drone tracking link, don't know how to pronounce that, a tracking disruptor, a TEMNN mono propellant enduring afterburner, three EAEK compact drone damage enhancers, and a medium. AMC armor repair and a damage control module 2 and um, let's get a mission now I can't read this fast out, out loud I read the whole thing while I was recording the video but I can't read that fast out loud so if you want to read it pause it I know it might be a little blurry but I think you'll still be able to read it and it's also not really that important now um, uh, we have to go and get some guy who's a traitor, basically, and bring him back. Uh, the good stuff the Amar make you do. Catch ex escaped labor, labor camp escapees and enslave people. The Amarians are the best. I don't actually know why I picked the Amarians. I've pretty much played every race, and they're not my favorite. But I guess their ships look cool, at least when you have high graphics. Anyway, it's got quite a bit of loot, and these are level 2 missions. This would be the third one I've run. Um, so this character is going to be a battleship pilot, eventually. Um, it's not close to there yet. But when it is, I've saved all the million skill points, or most of them, that you get at the beginning. And I'm only going to use those when I reach the 5 million skill point limit for an alpha clone because they'll be very helpful because the only way to go past that is with alpha injectors and skill injectors so it'll be very helpful past that point now I've been trying to think of things to make videos about but I'm kinda not succeeding so I just made this crappy one here um, this character will be a battleship pilot eventually like I said I think well, I'll get a nester but I'm not sure I also realized that my old computer and this computer, if I play them both at once, I can have two accounts without paying the $8 a month for, uh, for Omega Clone. Take that CCP. Um, I'm kind of just refusing to do it at, that, at this point. I could probably afford it with ISK if I wanted to. But I haven't really came up with any great strategies or anything to make YouTube videos about. I'm going to start doing PvP YouTube videos, but I suck at it. I've literally never gotten a kill. So I figure once this thing is a uh, maxed out mission runner, I'll be able to afford, for every hour I play this character, I'll be able to afford two destroyers to practice PvP with. So um, I'll just spam destroyers until I eventually can get a kill. I'll have to make a character for that too. Um, but yeah, I suck at PvP. I've been playing this game for almost a year now. And I still can't, haven't killed a single person. Unless you count that alt I accidentally killed. I once killed an alt of mine. It's pretty fun. Well anyway, with this mission, all I have to do really is kill the one guy who got away, the royal. All I have to do is kill him, so I'm just going to tank all the NPCs here. If you want me to do crappy videos like this, I mean, they're really crappy, not educational, but I do enjoy making these a lot more than the strategical ones that take me three days to make. Um, yeah, these are pretty fun to make, actually. I'm just doing this for entertainment right now. Uh, this guy's taking down my shield pretty fast, but I'm armor tank, so it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, this is also like after recorded, so I know it's not going to be an issue. Yeah, and if you're wondering why I have a remote armor repair when I'm solo, it's because I don't want to have to dock at a station to repair my drones. And also, I was trying to play with two accounts at once earlier. I mean, it's really difficult, and it doesn't save any time whatsoever, because getting them both there and all the extra logistics of it make it not worth it. It also makes your head hurt trying to switch between the two and remember what each one's doing. Um, I mean, it can help you avoid, like, going into armor ever would be pretty easy but I don't have an issue with buying fancier ships anymore so there's no big deal to having two accounts really I mean I could make one of the mine while I run missions but again that mining method I use someone commented on it about how it takes being there and folks kind of you have to do the same thing over and over again it's kind of hard to remember to do that while mission running Ooh, this guy's got a tag that's worth 150,000. That's a good deal. Um, I have a bunch of loyalty points. I'm not sure what I'll do with them. I'll probably just turn them all into is for starters, but eventually I'll start getting faction modules for myself uh, once I get a battleship. I think I'm going to go with the um, Amar drone battleship first and then the Nestor, but I'm not sure because I could also get the Nightmare, which is the Sancha one, or the Blood Raiders one. Um, I think the Blood Raiders are more PvP, and more of a PvP ship. I mean, it has energy neutralizers, which are kind of useless on NPCs. So, I think I'll go with the Nestor. Let me know what you guys think, uh, if anyone actually watches this video. Also, notice that my um, Mining in a Battleship video got 1,300 views, which I'm very pleased with that. I'm, like, kind of internet famous, I guess, even though there are people who have way more than that. Um, but yeah, if you have anything interesting you want me to make a video on, or, yeah, anything good at all, let me know. I have nothing. Uh, I'll make another vid video like this probably, but you don't have to watch them. I'll like, yeah, you don't have to watch these. They're kind of really boring. So, at this rate, it'll be a little while before I'm doing like level 4 missions, but there were no real videos on how to do level 4 missions or what you need. So, I think I'll do that, and once I get the Nestor, or whatever bow faction battleship I get, I should be able to run level 5s too, especially with two accounts. Um, my main source of income at this point is Emerging Conduit, so if you want a video on how to do that, uh, let me know and I'll make one. And it should take me a few months to get to the actual... Uh, level 4 missions. I know it, it, at this rate it shouldn't take too long, but I know it decreases exponentially the higher standings you get. So if you have any questions, let me know. If not, well, this is it. See you guys. And girls, of course. I kind of forgot that. Sorry all you girls out there watching this.